I'm making chocolate chip cookies and for that I am going to use eggs, butter, chocolate chips, I'm using milk chocolate chips, salt, baking soda, white sugar, brown sugar, and I just have it all measured out onto uh, parchment paper to go into my mixer easier. And flour and vanilla. And you might be wondering why so much butter. Uh, this chocolate chip cookie recipe makes uh, six dozen. It makes a, a big batch of chocolate chip cookies. And I oftentimes I uh, cut the recipe in half, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, because it's three eggs, how do you cut an egg in half? You could um, mix the egg up and just use half of an egg, or what I do is I just use a tablespoon and a half of water. That's about the equivalent liquid amount of a half of an egg. So I figured that um, having this much cookie dough um, will be okay. I'm going to bake up some of them into cookies. I'm going to measure some out into balls and freeze them and they'll be in my freezer for when we want to make fresh cookies. We won't have to make the dough up. And then I am also going to press some into a round pan uh, to use for a pizzuki dessert sometime. And so we'll just see how much dough I have, how, much, how many pizzukis I want to make, how many cookies I want to bake off right now. But let's get started making our dough. Okay. So to the mixer. We'll be adding a pound of real butter. I use unsalted when I have it. If you don't have unsalted, then don't put as much salt in when you go to put the leavening in. Cut the salt down by a little bit. And I'm just going to tell you all the ingredients now. So we've got a pound of unsalted butter. Okay, so to that I added one and a half cups of white sugar and two cups of brown sugar. And I am going to Put the lid on and let that cream. After that, I am going to add three eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla. And then I will um, let it cream again. After I get done adding that, then I will add the leavening, which is one and a half teaspoons of salt and one and a half teaspoons of soda and I may let it mix for just a, a couple of seconds to combine that. Then I will add six cups of flour. When the flour, and usually I do that half at a time, when the flour is incorporated then I am going to add, my recipe says six cups or two bags of chocolate chips. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't ever measure that so I don't know how much I put in, but just until it looks right for my family. Then once I do that, mix that up, then I am going to uh, drop onto my cookie sheets with the cookie scoop, and then I will bake in a 350 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes.
I have one pan out of the oven. One pan is in the oven. And one pan is ready to go in the oven. So it's three dozen. I made a pizuki that's in the freezer. I also made a dozen balls that are flash freezing that we can use later. And I still have enough dough left maybe for like six more and six more cookies. And I don't know if I'm going to just bake those off or flash freeze them. I think I'll just uh, get the, the ones out of the freezer and put that on that and then I'll, I'll be basically done. I'll be done except for putting these dough balls in bags when they're done freezing and baking the rest of the cookies. I bake these cookies at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. They're a soft cookie, so you don't want them to be brown on top. Okay, I'm going to put those in the freezer and then clean up. That's what they look like on the bottom. These are a great hit of parties. I guarantee if you take this to a gathering or a celebration or a barbecue or a Christmas party that people will be asking you for the recipe. And they will probably also be horrified when you tell them that there's a pound of butter in it. But it makes a very large batch. You can make the cookies a week or two ahead of time, put them in the freezer and then pull them out the day of your party and they're all good to go. The freezer balls um, I would probably pull those out and put them on a pan and let them thaw out for maybe 30 minutes and then bake them the same way that we bake we bake these. These are also good with white chocolate chips and macadamia nuts. You can add nuts. Uh, we're, we're not fans of a lot of nuts in our cookies, so I leave them out. But they would be good with walnuts or macadamias, almonds, pecans. So I hope you try this cookie. So the dough is frozen solid enough that I can pack it into this uh, freezer bag here and put it in the freezer when we want some cookies we can just take out what we need put it on the baking sheet let it sit for a few minutes and then bake it if you wanted to have this recipe um, what I would do, in fact, why don't I just put the half recipe on the, in the description box, but the only, the only thing would be the egg, and we have already discussed that, that you could beat an egg uh, ahead of time and then just 
pour half of it in or you can just put one and a half tablespoons of water. I've done that before. In fact, I think my family even likes that version of it better. So I'm going to put these in the freezer and then we'll have frozen cookie dough. 